Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Taurus. Hope you guys are all doing good. Thank you so much for dropping in to listen. Let's see what's going on. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? The overall energy surrounding Taurus and their love life. What does Taurus need to know? The overall energy surrounding them in their love life. Taurus. There we go. To the sea. Ooh, there we go. Came up first. Milk and honey. Message in a bottle. Unfinished symphony. Oh my gosh. You have a lot going on. Yeah, there's a never-ending story going on here. Some unfinished business, apparently. Yeah, somebody here is... I feel with this deep knowing, there's going to be a, a message here. Maybe a rather emotionally deep. This is somebody that you probably, this is a situation that goes on and on and on. And I feel like it is possible with this milk and honey that this actually could finally be resolved. Okay, so... Yeah, someone's trying to figure something out. They're just sort of adrift right now, kind of going with the flow. Yeah, they want they want the milk and honey though. <laughs> Unfinished business. Yeah, somebody here is trying to figure something out, something to do with justice. They're trying to figure out how to do something right, how to make something right. Yeah, we have this offer feel like there's a lot of confusion here and I feel this person's just trying to go with the flow. There's a decision or a choice to make. They're trying to figure out how to make a choice. Maybe picking something out. All right. Thinking about all their feelings. Wow, you guys. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So what I feel is happening, somebody wants to start something new. They're offering you something reliable. That Ace of Pentacles is that seed. There's that water. That seed can now grow. A lot of you guys have been probably waiting for that energy because lately it's just been the Ace of Pentacles. you got to have that Ace of Cups. you got to water that seed, right? So lovely energy there. Ooh. Yeah, somebody is going to do something sweet for you or you have a reconciliation. Someone's reminiscing, remembering you remembering the good old times, <laughs> the milk and honey. Some unfinished business. Somebody wants to make something right. They want to do the right thing. And I feel they they want to go about it just right too. And this is the thing. So they're a little bit confused, trying to make a decision how to go about this. Okay, and it may have to do with the Six of Cups. Yeah, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there is something here to do with... There's a message coming to do with this Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody reliable, financially stable. I feel this, this is something you can actually rely on. I feel this is very grounded, very positive energy. This is a really solid offer. If somebody buys you a gift or they come towards you uh, wanting to start new with you, I feel this could actually go somewhere. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles. They're coming in, looking at all the details, paying attention to the details. They want to do everything just right. Okay, somebody's being very meticulous here, doing things exactly the right way. And there's that message. Mm -hmm. Oops, there we go. Empress energy. Wow. And we also have the devil and the three of wands. Someone's pretty obsessed with you. And I feel maybe they're waiting for you to communicate with them. Or maybe you're waiting for this. They could be a Capricorn that's obsessed with you. All right, Taurus. And they have some Libra in their chart. I see the magician in the middle. This is you're both mirroring each other. I feel you're both reminiscing, both missing each other. You both want this new beginning. I, I feel like you do. And this could actually go somewhere. This is a never-ending story. And I don't think it this is one of those situations where it may never end. And I feel this is something you're waiting for. Your ships are here. I feel there's someone who is crazy about you. They see you as this empress. Whatever it is, somebody is really, really, um, and it could be a Capricorn manifesting here. Like they're thinking about something so much, what to do with you. They see you as this empress, Taurus. 
this Libra energy, they see you as just right, and they want to do everything just right. So this is really interesting. This person may be traveling, coming to see you, but this is the seven. They're figuring something out. They're just adrift here, right? They're just drifting along in their head, thinking about how to fix the situation, how to make things right. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to uh, buy you a gift, but they're reminiscing and missing you. They're remembering the good old days, right? The sweet times. Yeah, you're mirroring each other. You're both missing each other. Let's see what's going on with this justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Yeah, we have the ten of ten of uh, wands. Yeah, somebody wants to put an end to something that's bothering them. Maybe something they heard about a third party situation, some kind of gossip is bothering them. Maybe they just want to put an end to the situation and they're ready for some happiness and joy. We have the justice system. This person's, they want to do something right. You may be getting an offer to go out on a date. They want to get together, have a couple of drinks. <laughs> I see this hand with this drink. It looks quite refreshing, actually. Somebody wants a fresh new start. They want to start over. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to approach you, a little bit confused, trying to decide how to go about this. There's a lot of possible ways they could do it because they're really up in their head. So yeah, I feel they're pretty obsessed about this. <laughs> and Yeah, totally. And you're waiting for this, Taurus. I know you are. <laughs> you're manifesting this person too. I can see it. Tell me about the seven and chalices. If you're not manifesting them, I... No, they're, they want to come towards you. They want this reconciliation. They're offering you something. I think you're going to get something. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Did I see this in Capricorns? Yeah, this is in Capricorns reading, Taurus. You guys got a few same cards, a similar story. Very interesting. Yes, somebody is wanting to talk to you. Maybe apologize. Or they might just want to ask you if uh, you're dating anyone else. Have you got any other options? Maybe they're burdened. They're worried you're dating other people. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn. Gemini energy. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Very interesting. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here? Uh, yes, this person, yeah, they're they're working on something pretty hard here. They want this new beginning. This is somebody who's very determined, very focused, putting a lot of work into this. They want this. This isn't someone who gives up. This is somebody who never gives up, okay? Very interesting, yeah. You got yourself a fighter here. Let's see with this King of Staves. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Energy. It doesn't have to be, though, because it could very well be this uh, Capricorn or a Gemini. A Libra. Boy, they see you as right. They, they, they want to come in. They want to, whatever it is, they're going to take care of it. So they could be asking you out for a date. They're going to take care of it. They're going to take care of all the responsibilities of it. Uh, could be an apology too, though. Uh, but I feel like it's somebody who wants to know if you're seeing anybody else, if you have other options. Or maybe they want to come and apologize for the conf some confusion. Magician. Why is the magician here? What's this person manifesting? What's this person manifesting? Ooh, yeah, they want to put an end to something. Yeah, they want to put an end to something. Like, they want to fix something and end it. That's what they're manifesting. They have all the tools, the necessary tools. This person's coming prepared. Feel like they're going to bring you a gift, but first they're going to, they're trying to figure out if you're dating anybody else. <laughs> And it's funny because I actually seen this on Capricorn's reading. So you can flip this either way, people. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Why is the Six of Cups? Yeah. 
waiting patiently for a reconciliation. Someone's waiting for the right time. Very similar energy, a little different. I mean, it's two different people's perspectives. Similar story. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's definitely uh, sitting there waiting patiently, waiting for the right time to have this reconciliation. And I feel they, oh, they're missing you so much. I think they're tired of being patient. They want to put an end to this situation. They want the milk and honey. Yeah, they're thinking, making a decision here about the Ten of Pentacles. Reconciliation. This is a judgment. This person's getting a bit of a wake-up call here. They know that time may be running out because you may have other options. And I think this person's freaked out about it big time. Now, they don't have to be a Capricorn, but they could be. For some of you, they may be. Others of you, they could be a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely could be. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So interesting enough. Yeah, they're trying to make a decision here. And uh, this person's waking up. Uh, they're going to come and give you something that, that maybe that you want, or they're hoping that you'll grant them their wish. They want to make things stable with you. could be a commitment. If they're giving you something here, it could be rather expensive because they're being very meticulous. They're paying attention to the details completely because they want success, so they're going to do everything just right. So if you are getting a gift, or maybe you're buying a gift, maybe you're buying a gift for a Capricorn Taurus, see how it goes eh? it's going to be different for all of you tell me about the knight of pentacles why is this here yeah see someone's afraid yeah they're afraid they're going to miss something they won't be able to get it right yeah they have a, a little bit of fear that they won't be able to do this right it won't work out they won't get success they want this wish granted they're hoping you'll grant them this wish if they give you something they are holding back something, but you know, this card here, I prefer this one much more than I do um, in some decks where it very much portrays this as a very self-indulgent kind of energy. So let's have a boo. I feel like they're trying to figure something out because they feel like you're someone who has everything they already want kind of person. And I see that similar energy just in a little different way in the other reading. Tell me about this Empress energy. Why is this here? Yeah, this person wants a new beginning, but they're afraid that they're going to screw up. They won't do things right. They might they might be afraid they're too late because they're being so meticulous or trying to do everything right. And that's why I feel they're trying to figure out first if you're dating anyone and it may be too late because they're slow. This person's slow. They're very detail-oriented, but they're working really hard. They're very much determined, okay? Very, very determined. So tell me about the Empress energy. Yeah, this person's a little bit worried. Yeah, they're worried because they feel like you may have other options. That may be too late. They're worried you might reject them. Yeah, and that's what's slowing them down is a little bit apprehension that it may be too late. You may be seeing somebody else. They're covering all their options here, too. Whatever it is they're trying to do, they're being super meticulous because they're covering those options. They may message you for some kind of a communication here. could be an apology for some kind of um, confusion. They're trying to figure out a way to fix the situation. Tell me about to the sea. Why is this here for Taurus? Did I say Capricorn? Because there's definitely a Capricorn here, but definitely this is your reading, Taurus. Yes, this person's, yeah, they're just kind of going with the flow, letting things evolve, seeing what's happened. They're figuring things out here. And this could be you just sort of drifting along, <laughs> Taurus, doing your thing, going with the flow. See somebody traveling, moving, changing location, possibly. This person could be at a distance. They may need to travel towards you. Uh, they, they have to wait for just the right time here, but they're missing you. You know, that's that missing you, big time, melancholy. Tell me about milk and honey. Have I seen something here? Nope. Milk and honey. What's milk and honey? There we go. Ah, uh, yes, there you go. You're milk and honey together. Yeah, you're both missing each other. You're definitely... You could be at a distance, and this person may be traveling to see you. Maybe they're trying to figure out to buy you something. They want to go about it right. And I feel like it's kind of a big burden because they, they want to do this right. 
And I feel this person, I think they're bothered. They, they see you as someone who's right for them. And I feel as though maybe there was some kind of communication that happened in the past that's bothering them, something they may have heard that wasn't right, that was off balance. But I mostly what the biggest energy is, And they want to know if you're if you've met somebody else. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Let's clarify that again. Tell me about justice. It doesn't matter how I roll that around. It doesn't seem like it fits, but it could be justice. There we go. Yeah, this person finds you very sexy and attractive. They want to know if you're focused on someone else. They see you as just right. Yeah. They feel like they're, you may be gone out meeting someone. It's burdening them. It's bothering them. Uh, they're fantasizing, a little bit confused. They want to talk to you. Wow. Tell me about unfinished business. Yeah, this unfinished business, something this person didn't do is express themselves. They want a new beginning. They don't want this to end. I can tell. Yeah, you're looking at something's being exposed here. They may have left something out. I think they're going to give you something to express themselves. I do. They're going to give you this pentacle, and you're going to look at it. See this pentacle? They're, whatever it is, they worked hard for this. Okay? They put a lot of thought, a lot of hard work, a lot of focus on this, and that's why. So they may have even built you. This is someone who works with their hands. They may have built you something, all right, made you something with their own hands, something special, right, something really sweet. I mean, maybe they cook and they're giving you something. Because <laughs> sometimes when I, some cards, when I see this, it's the Nine of Cups looks like a baker. <laughs> they might cook you something. But they also could be, uh, you're looking at this pentacle and you're examining it. And you're, it's, yeah, it's very expressive. Something is becoming very clear. This person wants this new beginning. They're expressing themselves with this gift. Because there's something that they never did. It was unfinished. They never, this is somebody who never told you. They see the possibilities with you. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little apology. They're a little bit shy about expressing themselves. They're worried you're gone, though, that it's too late. They feel like it, it, they may have manifested this too late. It may be too late to fix it. Tell me about message in a bottle. Why is this here? Why is this message in a bottle? Man, that's an emotional message. There's, this is coming with a little message. They might drop something off at your house. They may drive a distance to do this. Yeah, see, there, yeah, there you go. I just say, yeah, there's going to be a message probably left at your house. Message at the door. Oh, my. They may be dropping off a gift with a note for some of you. They may be asking you if you've moved, relocated, where you are. They want to know because maybe they want to have something delivered. We'll see here. Tell me about deep knowing. Yeah, this person's trying to get some kind of clarity. And tell me about this deep knowing. Maybe it's you, Taurus. You didn't real you re you knew this wasn't over. <laughs> yeah. You know this is Yeah. Wow. I feel like things are about to get very grounded and stable between the two of you. Things could stabilize because this person's going to express themselves with this pentacle. A gift, a note, something they may be leaving at your house. They may have to ask you where you are because they don't know. Maybe you've moved or relocated. Oh my, tell me about never-ending story. Why is this here? Yeah, so you're not so sure. You're going to think on it. You've been on a break with this person. I feel like you're going to think on it. They've been holding back. They may have some stress. This might stress you out a little because you're maybe not sure. Or maybe they feel that it's too late to make this stable. What's this deep knowing? Any more on this deep knowing? This is stable. It's reliable. It's practical. It's expensive, yeah, end of cycle, beginning of a new cycle. This person wants things to go in their favor, so, and I feel, 
they may be trying to figure out right how to put an end to whatever happened between you or it's just you know they want things in their favor they want things to move forward and you're not so sure you're going to sleep on it there's something that's worrying you here because it's this never-ending story tell me about this never-ending story what's going to happen here for Taurus yeah yeah you want to put an end to this never-ending story there's a transformation here what is this trend maybe you're thinking this person will never change What's this transformation about? Some kind of balance. Emotional balance. Teamwork, cooperation, compromise. But there's some secrets, mystery. Somebody's hiding their feelings. And I think they're going to express themselves in a gift or a note. They may leave at your door. They may leave a message at your door. Okay, mm-hmm, interesting. Or they may just message you and ask if you've moved or where you're living or where your house is if they don't know. Tell me about the king of staves. What is this person up to? What is this person up to? I think this person's worried that it's too late. I think that's a fear. They have a, they're really quite afraid because they don't know. There's a mystery. They don't know if you're with someone else. Definitely their emotions are a little out of whack here. And they're going through, they're ending, something needs to end here with this transformation. But some of you maybe feel this person's never going to change. I don't know. Let's grab this deck. Tell me about this never-ending story. I think the two of you just need to bring that balance back. Justice and justice, the corners, right? Have you ever feel that there'll never be any balance here? Oh, this person, there's that deep knowing. They're thinking, they're strategizing. They want to put an end to this. Somebody is doing a lot of thinking here. Trying to figure out how to put an end to this situation. I, don't, I think this person has this... <laughs> this could be you, Taurus, okay? But it could be this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Where this person has this deep knowing. They know that this is something that's not over. Maybe they, or they're looking for answers because they want to make sure this isn't over. Like it's done, that they've lost you. That they didn't manifest you and fix this quick enough. Because I feel like here, it's like they're waiting for the right time. Um, and it, yeah, that see, they're coming in with this Knight of Pentacles a little slow. It may be too late. They have that fear. Yeah, Taurus energy. Yeah, this person, this could be you too, knowing you know that this is the never-ending story. Maybe you have this deep knowing this person's going to come back. Maybe you're worried that they're never going to change or nothing's going to change. But I do see a transformation. That's change, period. That's change, yeah. So maybe this is time to put an end to this stress and this worry, okay, to transform this into teamwork cooperation with some balance, right? Get things back into balance. But somebody's not needs to balance their emotions, their head over their heart, I feel. There's a commitment card here. I, I actually feel this person starting to have some faith in you or you're having some faith. Maybe you don't have faith in this person. I don't know, you guys. I could go in a lot of different directions. Commitment. It's faith, it's tradition, it's beliefs. This per I feel like this person really believes in you. Like, But I feel like it could be that you don't have any faith that this person, things are going to change. But I'm seeing it here. So tell me about this Page of Cups. Yeah, coming in balanced. Yeah, this person's trying to balance their emotions, trying to find that balance. Uh, it's, it's patience, it's... Um, Trying to tempt you, testing the situation. Sagittarius energy, there they are. Yeah, this person, somebody who kind of keeps their emotions inside, they don't project it well. So they might be a little bit shy about, you know, sharing you their feelings. Yeah, they're fighting really hard to control their feelings and their emotions. <laughs> and uh, they're a little all over the place. They're trying to control their feelings and they want to get things under control here. Uh, I feel they definitely are traveling to come and see you. If they want to. They may be asking you if they can come and see you. King of Staves. 
Yeah, see, this is somebody who's never told you how they felt. They've been really fighting to control their feelings. There's, they want to clear some things up with you. They're looking for some answers, some clarity. I feel almost like this person wishes they would have listened to you about something here. They were being kind of controlling. Maybe they were trying to control things too much. It's a lack of clarity. This is somebody who doesn't always tell you everything, you know. It's what they don't tell you. That's usually the issue, not what they do. But there, there's a lack of clarity here. Yeah, this person's confused. They're, they're confused about something. They want to clear some kind of confusion up to do with this King of Staves energy. I think they, they're looking to find out if you've got other options. They think you've gotten away. They're trying to get things back under control. They don't like not being in control. They don't like losing control of their emotions either. And that's what I think they're afraid. They're going to lose control of their emotions. They're going to just lose it if you've already got somebody else and you've moved on. So, yeah, wow, you guys. This person's pretty much pretty emotional. They're pretty much obsessed here and emotionally drained. Uh, they feel like you're this empress. They want this new beginning with you. Uh, but they know it's possible you may have moved on because you're an empress, right? You may not accept this person back. I don't know. And uh, it's hard to say. Taurus, oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know if you have faith in this person, though, that they'll commit. It's like there's something here that it's like this never-ending story. Like, this is just never going to end. But I see it ending. I see an end of the cycle. I see a transformation. That maybe it's there, but you don't have faith that it'll stick, maybe. or that Because this person hides their feelings. There's secrets and things that are hidden. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Cooperation, compromise, teamwork. It's going to take both of you. Yeah, it's going to take some teamwork to make to build this up, to fix this. To, um, to work together. you got to work together on this. This isn't something for just one person to do. Okay? This is going to take... You're both going to have to do some cooperating and compromising. But I don't know. I kind of feel like, you know, you're sort of thinking, I don't know if I want to compromise here. Hmm. How can I make this work? Right? It's very creative energy. It takes teamwork. See those little elves? And <laughs> she's looking at it like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this compromising is such a good idea. It might. She's sitting back with her paintbrush or she's smoking, one or the other. Yeah, so it is. Yeah, it's going to take both of you to heal this situation, okay? You both see each other as the star, hold each other in high regard. I feel to an extent. I don't know what's happened between you, but there is this purging and releasing. It's going to take you both. If you want to heal this and you want this person, one thing, they have to hold you in high regard. They they have to purge and release something. There's something they need to let go of before they can come towards you. Could be some un toxic habits, health, unhealthy behaviors, things that they need to let go of. I feel like you're sitting here waiting for this, but you're looking into the future. You're not so sure you see a future. But it could be them holding on, looking, you know, knowing what they need to do here with that deep doing, knowing they now they're figuring out what they need to, to do. And they need to come in stable and be reliable um, to get things moving in their favor. They need to maybe buy you a little gift show that they're in, to show that they're invested. They may have to invest a pretty penny because I see the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> All right. Let me grab some outcome cards. Wow, Taurus. This is looking interesting. Some cool readings this week. It's like people are starting to make progress in some of the readings, and I like that. Some of you, I've noticed in the last few weeks, are really done with someone, and you're absolutely ready now and healed to move on. So there's progress. Everyone's on a different level and a different path, because this is a different path. All right? This is a different path, the Golden Palace, the Three of Pentacles. It's getting you both on the same path, cooperating, and getting you on the same page to heal and purge this is what it's basically saying. There's hope here, and this is this person's hoping and dreaming. Maybe you are too. The outcome of this situation, there we go. Yeah, this person's coming in slow, Treasure Island. They, 
They come bearing gifts with treasure on their back, but they're slow. But they're yeah, they're going to give you a gift because they're not but they're not very good at the emotional thing. But there's something they're gonna express something in a gift. They want to put an end to whatever's happened. They want this they want you back. This person wants you. You're like you're the empress to this person. Yeah, this is a blessed union. This person's hoping for a blessing from the universe that they that you accept to this offer, this gift. Right? They're hoping you accept this. They want that their wish granted and they know it's possible you may not and that's what they're they're really stressed out i have to be honest i feel like whatever it is is going to buy you i feel like you're going to like it for the most part it's going to be very expressive it is going to be this new beginning it's going to be very clear maybe very shiny and uh when you put it in the sun anyway and i feel it'll make you happy but I have a sneaking suspicion that, ooh, all that glitters. Ooh, I can't believe that card was there. This person's wearing a mask. Yeah, it could be quite glittery. Um, they are wearing a mask. See, this person's got to give you something as a gift, but they wear a mask. They're just, I don't, I, I feel like this person fights so hard to not open up. Yeah, it's that fork in the road, right? They're trying to make a choice here, how to approach you, how to go about this. They want to make sure they they know they have to make this very expressive. Yeah, because they want this, because this is, right? They know if it doesn't, if this fails, it's, it's over. It's like a tower only. Kind of worse, pretty hard to rebuild that. It's just ashes, it's... Yeah, ashes and charcoal. Yeah, but it is a regeneration. They want to start from the bottom up. They want to start completely over with you here. A fresh new start, completely over. They're trying to figure out how to approach this. Yeah, be poised and ready. I think I've seen that in Capricorns too. <laughs> so... um you guys flip these either way, okay? Because one of you, either them or you, is going to have to be poised and ready. You are, like, so ready for this. Like, you're ready for this new beginning. You're going to look at this. You're going to ponder it. You're going to make this decision. It's This could be a commitment. So could be an engagement for some of you, or it could just be a sparkly gift, something pretty to show that they appreciate you, that they adore you, and... Uh, Got to remember, we got an empress sitting here, though. <laughs> yeah, it better be glittery, right, people? Take care of yourselves. Wish you the best. Bye for now.